PowerCool Technologies Incorporated is proud to present the firefighting foam of the 21st century. PowerCool FEF has been developed by firefighters for firefighters, creating a new standard in firefighting foam technology. PowerCool FEF is environmentally safe, cost effective, and field proven to be the most proficient firefighting foam on the market. How environmentally safe is PowerCool FEF? PowerCool has no EPA reportable ingredients. It is non-corrosive and non-toxic, making it safe for firefighters and their equipment. PowerCool is completely and rapidly biodegradable, reducing environmental cleanup costs. Unlike emulsifying agents, fuel can easily be separated out and reclaimed. And PowerCool is the only firefighting product to win the Presidential Green Chemistry Award designating PowerCool FEF to be the most environmentally friendly firefighting foam on the market. How cost effective is PowerCool? PowerCool FEF is used at 4 tenths of 1% flow rate compared to 3% flow rate of aqueous film forming foam. That translates to only 4 gallons of PowerCool per 1,000 gallons of water compared to 30 gallons of AFFF. PowerCool costs only $152 to treat 1,000 gallons of water, and that's nearly three times less expensive than the AFFF, which will cost as much as $450 or more to treat an equal volume of water. Other considerations include the hidden environmental cleanup costs. Because PowerCool FEF so entirely and rapidly biodegrades, cleanup costs are minimal. PowerCool FEF is not only environmentally friendly and cost effective, but it is field proven around the world to be a versatile and reliable firefighting agent. PowerCool FEF is recommended for use on Class A and Class B combustibles, including highly volatile hydrocarbon fires such as jet fuel, as well as three-dimensional fires, pressurized fuel fires, magnesium fires, and more. PowerCool FEF's patented ability to both immediately and dramatically lower fire site temperatures allows firefighters to fight the fire more aggressively. Depending on the type of fuel source, PowerCool FEF extinguishes fires between 10 to 40 percent faster than AFFF and other firefighting agents. If your fire department or industrial operation is looking for an environmentally safe, cost-effective, field-proven firefighting foam, then PowerCool FEF is a product you've been looking for. Don't just take our word for it. View this field test demo recently shot in Montgomery County, Maryland. Good morning, I'm Jack Dabney with PowerCool Technologies. I'd like to welcome you to the state of Maryland on this fine October day, where we're gonna be demonstrating PowerCool's fire extinguishing foam on class A burning materials. We have a car fire, we have mineral oil, and we have coal. We're gonna demonstrate the suppression capabilities of PowerCool and the minimal uses of water and the cooling properties that PowerCool provides. PowerCool was originally developed in 1991 for three-dimensional pressurized fuel fires during the Gulf War. Since then, in 1994, the U.S. Navy wanted to have, it, have a foaming capability before it was just a wetting agent and cooling. So this the product that you'll see today is the PowerCool FEF. In 1998, PowerCool won the Presidential Green Chemistry Challenge Award from the EPA and the American Chemical Producers. Its usage rate is only at four-tenths of one percent. So one gallon of PowerCool concentrate will treat 250 gallons of water. It does not have to be collected as a hazardous waste because it is non-toxic, biodegradable, and the biodegradable I mean rapidly biodegradable. In less than 30, 30 days, PowerCool is completely biodegraded away. In the first 48 hours, 86% of PowerCool is gone once it's been pre-mixed and used. If you, if you store it, where it's been pre-mixed inside of a tank on a fire engine. If you're using good clean water, it doesn't, it's not from a creek or a lake or the ocean or the Chesapeake Bay. It's nice clean tap water that goes in there. It's good for 28 days. You'll find out you'll still be effective. But since it is biodegradable, it will biodegrade. If you notice behind me, we have a car fire that we're doing. And it's gotten pretty warm. We're starting to hear the metal pop and crack. Uh, PowerCool's largest fire, since this is a smaller one, was a 100,000 ton oil tanker that was burning in the Bosphorus Straits in 1994. Smith out of Rotterdam was called to extinguish this fire. Lloyds thought it was going to take two weeks to extinguish this fire using conventional foams. 
Schmidt, who's been in business for over 150 years, took solely PyroCool to extinguish this fire. And using nine pails of nine 55 gallon drums of PyroCool, extinguished this fire in 12 and a half minutes. They saved over 80% of the cargo on board that vessel. PyroCool was used two years ago, or last year, in Lynchburg, Virginia for a rail car accident, which was acetone and diesel fuel. 600 gallons of AFFF were used to try to control this fire. They could not get it under control. PyroCool was used with two firefighters, one single hose line, and 10 gallons of PyroCool. The fire was out in minutes. So if you need to cool down a fire site, PyroCool is the product you want to use, and I think we're going to see PyroCool in action here in just a few minutes. Um, Eddie Tyler is with PyroCool. He was one of the founding firefighters with PyroCool. And uh, we're using a 50 gallon per minute flow rate with a, a Scott system. One zero zero there. One, two, three, four. Now, PyroCool has cooled down this fire. Enough to put my hand on it. This car fire still has all the synthetic interior intact, and using one small forestry line, the flames were extinguished in about 12 seconds. What we've got here is mineral oil and we're trying to uh, get this ignited. A little slow going, but as you can see, once it gets going, it, uh, it'll start to burn well. It warms up, it gets hot, it'll burn. We've only got uh, about 10 gallons of it and it spread out like it was a spill. And what, we, what you're seeing now is spalling of the concrete that needs to be cooled before their pit gets too many cracks in it. <laughs> you want us to cool your pit now so you don't lose it? I mean, it wasn't a challenge, really, but if, if we, we want to relight it again? <laughs> no. No, it didn't. So that was power cool on an oil fire. It wasn't very big, but... In Baltimore City, PyroCool was used to extinguish this diesel fuel and unleaded gasoline fire. It was extinguished in 17 seconds using the forestry line.
Even after the fire was extinguished, power cool prevented the fire crew from reigniting the fire. The next fire that we have over here is a coal fire, and we've got some technology. If we'll move over that way, I'll go into what we've got. What do we have here is a nice warm coal fire. It's only been burning for about 35, 40 minutes, but it's enough to give you an idea of the, how power cool will cool down a coal fire rapidly with very little water. One of the, one of the dangers with coal in the coal mining industry and coal storage is spontaneous combustion. Some coal has a high enough sulfur and phosphorus content in it that just the wind going past will cause it to ignite. Once that starts, it'll start finding its way through the little cracks and crevices in a coal pile. Well, the coal fire never starts on the bottom, and it doesn't start up on top. It starts in the middle, the most toughest place to get to, because at the bottom you've got these big chunks that are down at the bottom that allow air to flow through there freely. Up on top, it's compacted enough where it's really tough to get it going on the top. It doesn't allow the air to pass through as much. But in the middle of a coal pile, you'll have your large mixed with your medium, mixed with your small chunks, and your fines. That's where your coal fire starts. So you've got to have something that'll penetrate down into that. Well, PowerCool, being as how it is a wetting agent as well, reduces the surface tension of water to allow it to spread out over the surface area and penetrate into coal. If you look at coal under a microscope, it's just like a sponge. Allow it to penetrate into that sponge and take the heat out of it. On this infrared footage, you can literally see PowerCool instantly removing the heat from the core of this coal fire. In mining of coal, a problem they have is methane gas and coal dust together. Low oxygen levels, it makes it a real fine explosion waiting to happen. Well, in conjunction with a group in uh, South Africa called Mining Tech, which is part of their NRC down there, we've come up with a venture with them to have a detection system. It's an optical and infrared detection system that will detect and activate an explosion suppression system with power cool. Total time is 400 milliseconds, which is less than a half a second where it's activated. So once it sees that signature of that explosion of that fire, what that signature is, you can take a welding torch and a welding torch will not set the system off. But the flame signature of that explosion getting ready to occur will, and it will activate and fill this whole tunnel up depending on the bottles and where you've got them situated, enough to suppress the explosion from even occurring. The tests were done on a 100 meter long tunnel with methane gas and coal dust, and on the ends of the tunnels were saran wrap to measure any heat buildup. The spark was ignited, the system activated, and the saran wrap didn't even warp. In the last six weeks, there's been three occurrences in South Africa where the system's been installed, where it's activated, they went in and checked, and the methane gas and coal dust levels were at that level for explosion, but they were suppressed by power cool in the system. Now i got to move away from here a little bit, it's a little warm, and then I'm going to let Eddie Tyler here, he's going to go and put this fire out using minimal amount of water, it should be maybe 20 seconds at the most going around, but it won't be on a solid stream going in, so you're not going to get 50 gallons a minute flow, you're going to get about half of that. Okay, stop for a second. Okay, you notice he did two applications. When dealing with coal, if you keep a surface layer of water over top of that coal, 
It's not going to allow the penetration to occur because you will build up some surface tension on that coal face. If you allow the, what you've put on there at first to penetrate in, let it go in when it can, the next application you have, it's going to follow right behind it. Okay, hit it with another with a little bit more a little bit more strain. That's good. Yeah. That's good. There you go. I'd like to thank you again for the opportunity to demonstrate power cool today here in Maryland on this fine day. We were successful, as you can see by the videos, on the extinguishment of the car fire. Then we went to the mineral oil fire and then the coal fire. You can see the suppression, the cooling capabilities, and the effectiveness power cool can provide to the fire service. Thank you very much for your day.